Oh, hey everyone, this is Ilwin for the win, and right now, um, as you guys might see above, or at least in the title, this is my 100th episode, and it could even possibly be my, like, 1,000th view episode that gives me above the 1,000 view, you know, amazement and everything. So, as you might know, today is Wednesday, and if you look at the schedule, always follow that schedule, you'll see that it is Random Wednesday. What that means is I'm going to post some random episode. And what is this episode going to be about? It's going to be about something called cartoon theories. And what are cartoon theories? Cartoon theories are something quite interesting, actually. Because, um, as you know, we've all grown up with the cartoons, Bugs Bunny, Rugrats, all that. But they always seem to have like something very weird in them. Like in The Simpsons, Maggie never talks. And so cartoon theories basically fill up the gaps to why, you know, certain character happens like there are no adults where do the smurfs come from if there are only you know male smurfs it fills up the gaps in there and the particular cartoon theory we're talking about a lot of you guys may have heard about this cartoon theory is the rugrats theory and so i'm going to read off the rugrats theory for you and might i add that i'm just reading off of it so if there's any cost words you know anything saying don't vote mitt romney or don't vote gingrich um uh, newt gingrich he's a reptile you know it's it's completely in this i never said he in that it is it was in this but here we go here's the rugrats theory <clears throat> the rugrats really were figments of angelica's imagination pretty good let's listen to the explanation chucky died a long time ago along with his mother. That's why Chaz is a nervous wreck all the time. Makes sense. Tommy was a stillborn. That's why Stu is constantly in the basement making tours for the son who never had a chance to live. Also makes sense. The DeVilles had an abortion. Angelica couldn't figure whether it would be a boy or a girl, thus creating the twins. Also makes sense. Also makes sense why they're always dressed. As we're all grown up, Angelica was a bipolar schizophrenic who, as a teenager, became addicted to various narcotics bringing her back to her childhood and thus her creations she obsessed over. Because of time lapse between the present and the last time she interacted with her creations, she made them older. And Joko was constantly taking hits of acid so she would never have to live without her creations who were her only com company in a judgmental world. And Joko's mom actually died of a heroin overdose. And Joko was a schizophrenic slash bipolar because she was a crack baby. Additionally, drew in his depression married a gold digging whore that Angelica idolized because she fooled herself into thinking it was her real mom but always had a concept of her mom Cynthia and took a Barbie doll and made it after her mom's image wearing an unwashed orange dress and having jacked up hair which is why she has so attached to it later in life she followed in her mom's footsteps with drugs and everything dying of overdose at age 13 when all grown ups was cancelled and also makes some logical sense but then again she's a little girl so that could also explain why the dog so ra doll so ragged. All my bears like messed up. The only rugrat not to be fictional, however, was unborn Tommy's brother Dill. However, Angelica didn't know the difference between Dill and her creations. Dill didn't follow her commands of endless crying and refusal to, to disappear like the others did. When Angelica was angry with him, she hit him and she hit him, screaming a screeching tune. Stu ran in and pulled his niece off of his only child, but it was too late. He had brain hemorrhage, resulted in a deformation as he grew up his damage. As he grew up, his damage all became more evident. By the time he was nine and all grown up, he lived as an outcast, being ridiculed for his weirdness and retardation. The immense guilt over this is what led to her drug use and is what led Angelica to uncreate the Rugrats briefly until her experience with hallucinogens. On a trip to Paris to find love, Chaz married a hooker named Kira. He was actually going to marry a different hooker, but she wanted him to for his money. He had a daughter named Kimi that was torn from her because she was a cocaine addict. Angelica, imagine her from Kira's story. He lost his mind after he death of his wife and was in denial that she was ever prostituted. Upon returning to America, Chaz and Kira married, and she got her green card. It was actually a really happy slash romantic story. Kira continually struggled with addiction and was openly happy with her life in Chaz. Susie was actually Angelica's only friend who entertained the thought of Angelica's creation for her. She later became a psychologist and teamed up with Nickelodeon to make the Rugrats. When Angelica died of drug overdose, she helped arrange a funeral. Angelica's death was sad because of her addiction. She expelled from society, which led to break with reality and her eventual death. She spent the last days of her life in the back of the school cafeteria, imagining friends around her and playing with the li with the lives of her creations. So, there you have it. That 
that is Rograt's theory, and it's it's pretty sadistic. Like, Feel free to pass out. But usually that's all how cartoon theories are. There's another Edit and Eddie theory where like all the people are dead in the cul-de-sac, and that explains why exactly they why you never see an adult or any other children around. But there are some little minor chinks in the Rograt's theory. One, in all grown up, you never actually. I mean, in all grown ups, the babies do act through the, um, as this would call it, imaginary babies do actually interact with other characters. So that's a flaw in this theory, first of all. And then there's um, some other flaws. Of course, like, hmm, I can't really think of it. Like, first of all, I don't, I don't really know. I'm kind of confused, but. Yeah, but there are other flaws in this. You can probably pick it up. But, you know, if you want to go into more of this, they have tons of cartoon theories. The big ones are Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And the other one is Rugrats, which I just read to you. But it's a pretty interesting thing, these cartoon theories. Some of them make sense. Other ones go off on a tangent and try to, like, the really just the same gaps ever. But that one was actually pretty good. Um, uh, the... Game you should see behind me is Portal, and it should be ending pretty soon. So guys, please make this my 1,000th view breaking episode, and also the 100th episode. So bye guys, hope you enjoyed this.